Ah, hello guys. So, we, in the last episode we made uh, clovers, and in this one, what we will be creating is actually just finishing the albedo, coloring the clovers in, and we'll be finishing the whole material. So, what we want to do now, uh, let's start off, so let's start off by getting ourselves a blend node from this one. Yep, exactly that. So, what are we gonna get into this blend node? First, we're gonna get this one, and we're gonna just do a gradient map from it. So we need to convert this into a color value so we can go into the blend node, and we're gonna dock it by pressing D. We get that value there, and now what we want to do is um, a very interesting one. Now you will see. So we get, I believe it's uh, this one, yeah, it's this one, it's this one. So we get this one here, this histogram scan, and we use a blend. So the blend is really important here, and you'll see why in a moment. And we're just going to use reroute node because we need this output here. And the blend is going to be subtract. So we subtract the, the grass blades from these clovers. So why now? Because we want some of them to be kind of hidden behind it. So hidden behind the grass. There it is. Can you see? It fit. They fit perfectly. Now they're completely white, so we will be changing that, of course. Just you wait. Um, after that, what we are doing is grabbing another blend node, of course. And in this one, uh, what is going to be the opacity mask? Well, it's pretty similar. So it is pretty, pretty similar. So we're gonna grab a another blend node here. So blend, there it is, and we're gonna plug it in here. And for the other input, what we will be needing is the top part. So this one here. So let's grab ourselves a reroute node. Just bring it in a bit. And there it is, and we're gonna get it here as well, gradient map, and dock it in here. So the same process that happened here, we do it exactly the same. Uh, actually, we just need to do subtract here, real quick. And there, there it is. So we have that kind of uh, clover thing in there. Uh, let's plug it in to the albedo map to see how it looks like now and looking pretty cool so far so good after that we are plugging this in to another blend node and what is it gonna be in that blend node is actually uh, this reroute node we made and it's gonna go into AO, so ambient occlusion, and the ambient occlusion is gonna be very specific and very low values. Uh, okay, not that low. Something like this. Yep. And uh, 0 0.06, something like it. We're gonna invert grayscale here, and this will be gradient map and plug it in here and dock it. So, uh, here we're gonna do subtract and for the opacity mask what we're gonna be using is um, well the same thing we used here I believe Yeah, this should be it. And yeah, uh, I forgot. 
so yeah this is this is the thing we need to use here but I forgot one thing so in this gradient map we actually need to change it and this value here should be some yellowish value so let's do a strong yellow and dock it yeah so we get that yellow pointing out there and here we do a bit lower I think and that looks amazing I think that is that is really good yeah that looks really really good so with that we are actually finishing our albedo so I'm gonna frame and say adding clover colors there we go and this is it for the albedo what we need to do though um, let's get this out here first get a blend node and my favorite node to, to use for roughness maps fractal sum base and I think this is pretty much all default values yep all default values I just do 5 and what I always do with these I just do I experiment I usually do multiply but hmm, add linear dodge doesn't seem that good add sub We're gonna do multiply for now, but if we end up using these le this levels node for the whole thing, we might change our minds here. Let's let's try and do it. So here, and now if we do add linear dodge to something like four, yeah, now it kind of looks better. And plug it into the roughness. It does look good, but I think the height map is really bad here. So let me just see our options here. So this is the roughness map for sure. So this is this is more or less it. Uh, but I don't like the height being this necessarily. So the normal map should be derived from this. Maybe if I plug it into the levels. And actually do let's do auto levels first. Maybe this help out a little. And we do height. Height seems good. Ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion seems good. Normal, normal seems good. So this this sort of setup seems good, but maybe levels as well and kind of put the put these values closer maybe. If I do it like this now, hmm, yeah, this this looks decent enough. I think we'll we will be going with this and height and for the roughness we will keep this yeah this looks really good um, what we could do so this is just now experimenting feel free to do to do experimentation on your own uh, how you want it but what I'm looking to do is create a really softer look. Like a really, really softer one. And what we could do maybe is actually do this. And maybe plug it into here as well. And to here as well. Hmm. 
a lot of options to be had here. Let me let me return to this one, to the original one. Original one kind of looks the best in my opinion. And if I place it in as height and as in as ambient occlusion and as normal maps, it all looks pretty decent. One thing I would change though. Let me let me see how it would go if we place them like this. So this gives us a way more like a bigger grass shapes. But what if we were to increase these just a tiny bit? Maybe actually put them just somewhere like here, increase them and put them somewhere like here. Yeah, this is starting to get more natural if we get a little bit bigger shape here. Uh, yeah, I think this is pretty good. Let's put an HSL node here, just for, just for control. I like having that control because we can, see, we can change everything in it. As you can see, look how good it looks. But actually, maybe putting it... There is a bad idea, maybe we should put it um, here. Yeah, here here could be a good idea. So yeah, we can just change pretty much everything. Oh, this is way too late. And we can, we can experiment around with these colors. And you can do a lot of fun stuff with this. And remember, if, something, if you fail something, you just set back everything to normal. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry. This is the graph we have now, and hope you liked it. See you in the next video. We have a wonderful day, guys.